Hello everyone. On behalf of Devdar Joshi and Associates and Edu GST, I heartily welcome you all for this session. As you all aware, with respect from 1st April 2022, e-invoice is going to be compulsory for a registered person whose turnover exceeds rupees 20 crores. In this regard, we are getting so many queries from all of you. So we thought that let us arrange one webinar in which we will try to cover general aspects of e-invoicing so that it will be helpful for all of you to understand the provisions of e-invoicing which are going to be compulsory with effect from 1st april 2022 now in this session in our first part we will try to understand what are the provisions of e-invoicing and what is the basic concept of e-invoice how it is going to be beneficial for all of you in future and in second part of our session we will try to see some of the questions general questions which are faced or which are there in your mind in fact we have tried to cover each and every question in our presentation itself so that there will not be any practical difficulty for all of you at the time of implementation of e invoicing so what is this e invoicing we will just try to find out the very basic answer of the very basic question what is e invoicing e invoicing means electronic invoicing here we are not going to prepare any new invoice using facility of gst portal as you are aware every business house is using different software for their accounting or for the purpose of raising of invoice some of you may be using tally erp busy accounting system zoho books some of you might have tailor made erp systems or sap system so the requirement of each and every business or a registered person is different and that is why format of invoice is different according to the need of organization or according to the facility available in your accounting system and that is why it is very difficult for any software to read the invoice data which is prepared by other software on the other hand if you see in gst also we are doing lot of duplication of work we are preparing invoice in our software accounting software using that information we are preparing e way bill so information of that particular invoice you are reporting on e way bill portal and then you are generating e way bill again same details you are uploading on gst portal at the time of filing form gst r1 so there is lot of duplication of work 
so to avoid all these things government of india decided to implement uniform invoicing system which is called as e invoice in which format specifications contents of the invoice will be fixed so that invoice generated by any software can be read by any other software similarly that data will be shared with the e way bill portal as well as gst portal so there will not be any duplication of work also so in nutshell what is e invoice e invoice is reporting of invoice generated by you in your accounting software on the gst portal so we are just reporting the details of invoice on the gst portal so there is not new generation of any electronic invoice it is just a reporting of invoice which is generated by you in your accounting system to gst portal however when you will generate that invoice in your accounting software in your accounting system you required to follow standards specified by the government by the cbic which is called as a schema so under schema government has specified standard contents of e invoice which are compulsory so your accounting software should be able to provide all those specification then only you can generate e invoice using your existing accounting software now this schema is having some mandatory contents as well as some voluntary contents so mandatory contents are mandatory in nature if you are not providing those content then iron portal will not generate e invoice now let us understand why e invoicing is needed as i mentioned there is lot of duplication of work we are reporting same details in gst return and on gst e way bill system so this will create duplication of work again format of invoice is different requirement of e way bill portal is different format of reporting in form gstr1 and in e way bill is also different from your original invoice during manual processing there are chances that there might be some errors again there is lot of use of paper in absence of e invoicing we have witnessed many suppliers they are generating fake invoice through which they are collecting huge amount of gst from the genuine tax payer so to avoid all of all these things e invoice is being introduced so originally it was applicable for the companies to a registered person 
whose turnover is more than 500 crores then 100 crores then 50 crores and now it is applicable to those registered person whose turnover exceeds rupees 20 crores and maybe in near future we will see e invoicing applicable to those registered person even their turnover is less than 20 crores what are the benefits of e invoicing one time reporting of b2b invoice so once you generate e invoice e invoicing portal automatically will report those transaction to the gst portal common portal so you need not require to you know once again report details of b2b transaction on your gst portal using e invoicing you can easily compute your sales and purchase and thereby you can prepare your sale register or purchase register you can also use you can also generate e-way bill using the details of e-invoice this will again help you in a reconciliation of details as per your books of accounts with the gst return again on a real time basis details of your invoices will be communicated to recipient so that he can avail credit on the basis of details provided by you there will be automation of tax filing process because details of your invoice will be directly shared by the invoice reporting portal with the gst portal so you just require to reconcile the details which are available on the gst portal with your books of account and if they are matching you can go ahead with your return filing tax authorities are expecting that after implementation of e invoicing there will be reduction in the number of frauds as far as fake invoicing is concerned so these are some of the benefits which are expected after the implementation of e invoicing now how this module this model will work do we need to require any separate system to generate the e invoice or we can generate e invoice using our existing accounting software so you can generate e invoicing using your existing software provided that your existing accounting software is able to generate the json file according to the standard according to the schema or format specified by the cbic so step number 1 will be you will generate regular tax invoice using your existing accounting software but according to the standards schema and format specified by the government after generation of invoice in your accounting software you will report that invoice in json format to the invoice registration portal of the gst invoice reporting uh, invoice registration portal will verify that json file it will verify the content of json file and if that content is okay if it is valid then invoice registration portal will generate 64 digit 
invoice reference number which will be unique in nature and invoice registration portal will digitally sign such e invoice along with invoice reference number it will also generate quick response code and if you scan that quick resp uh, response code then you will get each and every information of your invoice so all the important information of your invoice will be captured in that qr code so you can just scan that qr code and you will get the information of that invoice so after generation of iron number and qr code invoice registration portal will send that signed invoice to you as well as to the recipient on the email id specified on your document so this is how e invoicing model will work now to whom will e invoicing apply provision of e invoicing shall be applicable to registered person whose aggregate turnover in any financial year exceeds 20 crores so any financial year means financial any year from financial year 1718 and for 1718 financial year as per as gst law is concerned would start from 1st july 2017 so during any preceding financial year or even during current financial year if you cross turnover of 20 crores provisions of e invoicing will be applicable to you again when we are using term aggregate turnover it means pan india turnover so if your pan india turnover exceeds 20 crores provisions of e invoicing would be applicable to you now which types of documents are to be reported on iron portal so according to notification number 68 oblique 2019 central tax dated 13th december 2019 provisions of e invoicing are applicable to invoice only however according to the faq issued by cbic and gst in e invoicing is to be done or e invoicing is applicable in case of invoice credit note and debit note so e invoicing is applicable in case of invoice issued to a registered person export invoice credit notes or debit notes issued to a registered person or credit debit note in case of export so b2b transactions and export tra transactions are covered within the ambit of e invoicing and in all those cases you required to prepare e invoice so now let us understand how we will generate e invoice using the invoice registration portal so there are two parts in part a in first part there will be interaction between registered person business and invoice registration portal so there will be communication between a person who is generating invoice with the iron portal and in second part there will be interaction between irp and gst portal irp and e way bill portal so there will be two major part as per as workflow of e invoice is concerned 
in first part there will be communication between registered person and invoice reporting portal and in second part there will be interaction between invoice reporting portal with gst portal and with eweibill portal so in first part as i mentioned earlier you will prepare invoice under section 31 of the cgst and corresponding hgst act using your own accounting or billing system subject to the e invoicing schema and after a preparation of such invoice you required to prepare json file which you will upload on the invoice registration portal either directly or using api or through gsp or any third party application provided after that invoice registration portal will validate that json file with the central registry of gst system and if such invoice is if it is free of error if it is not a duplicate invoice then invoice registration portal will generate <coughs> 64 digit code called hash or invoice reference number along with the qr code and both this irn and qr code will be unique in nature and then invoice registration portal will communicate details of irn along with the qr code to your software and you can use that information for the purpose of further preparation of your invoice now as i mentioned the details should be unique in the nature so that there will not be any duplication of any information and if it is so if you are reporting same invoice again and again on invoice registration portal or if you have already uploaded that document earlier then invoice registration portal will generate error uh, will generate error code and it will send back such code to you when you try to upload such invoice again and again on the irn portal so after verification of that json file irn portal will prepare digitally signed json file which will contain 64 digit irn number and qr code and after this irn portal will share those details with the gst portal and with the ebay bill portal and if you have provided details of recipient particularly email id then irn portal will also share details of such e invoice to your 
recipient directly through the mail so this is the part a of workflow workflow of e invoicing let us understand through diagram in very first step you will prepare your invoice using your existing accounting system but in the schema provided by the government then you will upload json file which is generated by your system within the stipulated schema on the irn portal now there are multiple irn portals so once it is uploaded on the irn portal irn portal will first check whether the json file which you are uploading on the invoice registration portal is valid or not it will also check for the duplication with the gst system and after that it will generate invoice reference number in 64 digit in in 64 characters which will be unique in the nature then iron portal will sign that json with the digital signature it will add qr code on such json and it will send back that signed json to the seller to the supplier with iron number and qr code now in part b as i mentioned earlier there will be communication between invoice reporting portal to the gst system or eweibill system so invoice reporting portal will send the signed details of e invoice to gst portal and to the e invoicing portal if email id of the recipient is given then iron portal will also provide details of e invoice to your recipient now one important thing e invoice scheme also includes parameters like transporter id and vehicle number which you required for the purpose of generation of eway bill so that also you can provide at the time of generation of your e invoice in that case system will automatically create your eway bill using the transporter id or vehicle number which you have provided in your e invoice so iron portal will share the details of e invoice uploaded on the invoice registration portal with the e invoicing portal and with the common portal gst portal at the same time using the email id of your customer details of your e invoice will be communicated to your customer also and on the basis of that invoice your customer can claim the input tax credit so this will be the overall flow of e invoicing now let us understand what are the features of e invoicing e invoicing will generate a unique invoice reference number which will be unique in nature and which will be based on gst number financial year document type and document number so this will be alpha numeric number 64 digits e invoice will be digitally signed 
by the e invoice registration portal another feature of e invoice is details of your b2b transaction will be automatically uploaded on the gst portal and eway bill portal so there will not be any duplication of any data entry and using uploaded details only you can file your form gstr1 as well as you can prepare your e invoice e e e eway bill now when you are using e invoicing facility as i mentioned earlier system will generate one unique quick response code and by using that quick response code any person including department officer can verify the validness of that invoice so all the important aspects of that tax invoice would be integrated into that qr code and just by scanning that qr code you can easily understand the details of or contents of such invoice as i mentioned to avoid or to manage the workload government has defined 10 common portals for the purpose of preparation of e invoice and you can use any one portal for the purpose of preparation of e invoice important thing to mark here is you can upload on any one of the portal and if you are uploading the same details on more than one portal system will take details which are uploaded first on any one portal and in respect of the information which is uploaded on the other portal system will flag an error regarding duplication of an invoice so there are multiple portals using which you can prepare iran number you can prepare your e invoice again the schema of e invoice will be standard so there will not be any differentiation in in terms of format in terms of templates because every system will now generate similar kind of e invoice one of the important benefit of e invoice is that you did not required to prepare three copies of invoices in case of goods or two copies of invoices in case of service you might be aware that manner of preparation of invoice is defined under the gst law so according to the provision of gst law you required to prepare invoice in three copies original for the supplier duplicate for the transporter or for the purpose of transportation and triplicate for the supplier this is applicable in case of goods in case of services you required to prepare invoices in two copies that is original for the recipient and duplicate for the supplier so once provisions of e invoicing are applicable to you you need not required to prepare three copies of invoices or two copies of invoices in case of goods or services as the case may be so these are some of the advantages some of the features of e invoice now how we can create the invoice e invoice multiple choices are given by the by the government you can prepare e invoice using api you can also prepare e invoice using sms facility mobile app 
ऑफलाइन टूल फ्री ऑफलाइन टूल विच इज गिवन बाय द गवर्नमेंट और यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर ई इनवाइस यूजिंग फैसिलिटीज ऑफ जीएसपी तो दीज आर सम ऑफ द मोड्स यूजिंग विच यू कैन प्रिपेयर योर ई इनवाइस कैन वी अमेंड डिटेल्स ऑफ इनवाइस रिपोर्टेड ऑन द आई आर पोर्टल or can we cancel e invoice partially or fully so amendment on the details uploaded on the iron portal is not possible so if you wish to make any amendment that mechanism is available only at the time of filing of form gstr1 so you cannot directly change the details of any particular invoice on the invoice reporting portal and you require to make the changes on the gst portal similarly you cannot partially cancel the e invoice you can cancel invoice in totality within a period of 24 hours and after completion of 24 hours you cannot cancel such e invoice on the iron portal and in that case you required to cancel those details at the time of filing gstr1 on gst port so partial cancellation of partially cancellation of e invoice is not possible you required to cancel e invoice in totality and that too within a period of 24 hours beyond that you required to cancel uh details of such e invoice at the time of filing your form gstr1 on gst common portal so that's it from our side regarding e invoicing we hope that this session will help you to understand the concept e invoice in better manner and this will ease implementation pain of e invoice at your end if you are having any query regarding e invoice you can ask any time our mail id and phone numbers are with you so your queries are welcome we also request you to visit our website www.edugst.com for further updates regarding gst thank you very much